And now Heather is going to tell you about Jim Groff, the trainer driver. She caught up with him, and he's got a famous son. I'm talking about serious famous, and he's cute, too. Tell us all about Jonathan Groff. Yes, Jonathan, extremely talented. He's been on Broadway. Right now he's in London doing a play. He's been in major motion pictures, and he was even on a little show called Glee. You may have heard of it. Miss yeah, just, oh, just a little show. Anyway, uh, yeah, we caught up with Jim, and he told us more. Now, I don't want to date you or anything, but how many years have you been in the business? Uh, I started in 73. So, are you a mathematician? or uh, <laughs> Actually, I am not. Already. Yes. I think that's before you were born, probably. Yes. I know that you, it's not, but thank you very much. Um, I know you've raced at a lot of different places, yep. but getting into the business, uh, your parents weren't in it, were they? No, my uncle was in it. So, I, uh, I thought I was going to be a vet coming out of high school, and I went to college for a couple years, and that didn't work at all. So, <laughs> so uh I went to work with my uncle, and then one thing led to another, and and uh, now I'm still working for myself. So. Okay, good deal. Now you've had some nice horses over the years, and you're an accomplished horseman in the business, but you've got one thing going on that you should be very, very proud of, and that's uh, your offspring, who is Jonathan. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. him. I think I'm a better sire than I am a racehorse or something. Yes. <laughs> but uh, right now he's in uh, London doing uh, a play called Death Trap. Yeah, he's been over there since August. He comes back in January. Just to backtrack real fast, um, Jonathan um, was on Broadway, right? That's and right. he was on the hit series Glee, so you might have recognized him there. And um, you mentioned he's in London now. Now, what's uh, coming up? You said he might be back on Glee again? He might, yeah. Glee's coming. Suppose everything changes all the time in that, but that's even that's even more than claiming horses. I think that everything happens there. They they just make it up as they go for the most part. I found out, but. Uh, they're supposed to come to to uh, New York in January, and, and the whole crew and tape from New York, the way it stands right now, and, and he'll be back from London in January, and maybe they'll hook up and he'll do a couple shows with them again. That's that's the idea, I think. What's it like being the dad of a superstar? I mean, this kid has been nominated for a Tony Award. You know, this is huge. Yeah, it, it's fun. It's uh, it's uh, it gives me something different to talk about. You know, it's it's. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a whole different a whole different world. So other than that, uh, other than that, I don't really understand any of it. Yeah, I just hear the stories, but uh, <laughs> but it's uh, yeah, it's it's completely different. Well, next time you will have to share some of those stories with us. Thanks for okay. being on the show. Okay, thank you. <laughs>